this meeting tonight at Parker High School's auditorium were roughly 30 people, maybe a little bit more than that. And everyone's main concern tonight was what is going to happen to this property once Birmingham Southern closes on May 31st? Well, the answer to that question still needs to be answered. People living in Bush Hills, Smithfield, Fairview and College Hills neighborhoods aren't holding back on their concerns on what will happen to Birmingham Southern College after it closes next month. And I have been all the universities and colleges to step it up. But what happens to us? Mm -hmm. What happens to the community when everybody has gone? Questions everybody asked are reasonable and people who live in, in the neighborhood do need to know these things. Birmingham Southern College's Board of Trustees voted to close the school because there wasn't enough financial support from state officials when the college asked for a $30 million loan a little over a year ago. Tonight, Representative Wanda Lingavan, Birmingham City officials and others want to help ease the mind of those people who were worried, like Pam Frawley, whose father taught at the college for three decades. At this point, I think there aren't a lot of answers and that's not their fault. They haven't been given answers. Tony Griffin is an alumni. She earned her bachelor's and master's from the school. I'm very concerned that it's going to turn out like a, a caraway hospital where, you know, they're going to let the grass grow up and everything's going to be vandalized. Who will upkeep the property is a question the private college will have to answer since it owns the close to 200 acres of land. Birmingham City Council President Darrell O'Quinn says the city has no say in that. I don't think our commitment um, extends beyond, you know, what we've already tried to do. Griffin offers a suggestion to her school, create a task force. And with that task force, find somebody that's going to take over that property um, so that it doesn't sit empty because these, these, this community doesn't deserve that. Uh, there were some people who left the meeting tonight with mixed feelings, some wanting to see a investigation done into the school's finances and others are optimistic that someone will buy this property. Now, Wanda Lingavan did tell everyone at this meeting tonight she invited the president, Daniel Coleman, to be a part of the town hall, but she says he is meeting with parents and students and couldn't make it. As far as property value, there was the chairman for the Jefferson County Equalization Office and she mentioned that it is too early right now to say to homeowners what their property value will look like after this closure. We're live in Birmingham. I'm Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13.